guys, it's your girl Carol NG here again and I'm back with a very interesting video. This time it's a shopping haul and I want to give us a few steps on what uh, or a few tips on how we can survive through this economic, uh, tough economic times. So, um, uh, we are going to go through uh, my price list bit by bit and then I will uh, show, I will give, uh, tell us what I did to save up on some money. So, uh, we are going to start with the food items. So, I bought this uh, Raha Premium Unga. I'm very used to it. So, I found it difficult going for another brand. Though, uh, the difference was about 20 shillings, which is a save for me, but I'm already used to this. That's why I picked up on it. I bought uh, two pieces. Uh, for 218 each. I also did uh, this Ajab brand. This one is also my favorite for cooking uh, for cooking chapatis. Let me confirm the price. I can't remember how much uh, it went for. So for 203 shillings. So whatever shopping I've done is only for two of us, I and my baby. So uh, it didn't cost uh, cost me too much though so i also bought uh, this self-raising flour for 110 shillings this one is a uh, good very good for cooking pancakes this one it's the best for me i normally use that one other than using the baking powder i use this self-raising flour i also bought this windy mix i had bought my baby's up uh unga in a what in a cereal shop but nikama hai kuwekwa mi windy so i decided to buy this one then i will add on that other one that one costed me 110 shillings this one this one was not expensive then i have my bread for breakfast this one has an offer it costed me 53 shillings this is a ken bless i think it's a new brand it is not a very popular it has been recently introduced if i'm not wrong so it's going for 53 shillings so i also bought uh this basmati rice so this one will even go for a month and above for us because we normally use half a glass with my baby so this one will take i think it end a one one and a half months because we only use a portion of this and it gets too much let me confirm the price um it was 500 and something let me confirm the exact price where are you yes 570 shillings it has it has been that to a pound it may panda to just like slightly slightly above what we normally buy on those other times then i have uh, my tomato sauce for 51 shillings this one has japan data to dog uh then i have my dental soap for my baby we normally she normally uses that all this one was 200 and something if i'm not wrong let me see yes 221 shillings but this one will go for a month plus because it is 175 grams and she uses it alone this one will go for a month plus myself i normally use this one the geisha almond soap because of my skin and it is also good for the face this one is 102 shillings yes then i also bought my menengai soap i normally use two bars uh, in a month so this one was 200 and something per piece let me see 251 per piece this one is quite quite expensive among zile vitu zimepanda we have the flour this soap this soap was going at a, was going at 150 shillings it was retailing at 150 shillings by the way i don't know what happened suddenly we are now getting it at 250 a disappointment because it's 100 shillings higher than what we have been buying it for uh this one is my identity this one will take me for two months plus uh, it's 250 grams uh this one took me 100 and something shillings it's not expensive 103 shillings this one can go even for two months because we just use a little bit a little per day then I have these Raybena juices uh, for my baby. I'm not a fan of them. She takes them alone. 
there should have been 60 bodies and not from for each let me see mm, yes ray Benner was 66 shillings for each then i have my milk i bought four packets these ones are will go for four days so a packet a day we don't do tea, tea so much so that one will go for four days that was 56 shillings each then I have this yogurt for my baby, so she will be interchanging. This is these are her four o'clock uh, snacks. When she's not taking the red banana, she will be taking the the what these um what do we call it yogurt. This one was uh, at uh, how much was it? Forty two shillings each. Let me see. I'm sorry, I have to confirm the prices because they have really changed. God, it is not even forty two shillings. Forty nine shillings each. That is about. How much? 50 bob. Na ilikuwa inatoka 39 shillings, by the way. That was the normal price. Then I also did some cancel. This one will go for months. I think about three months. I think Juni Mebakisha. I normally buy 1 kg and it normally goes for one and a half months. I'm two months. So this one, I think the next time I'll be buying sorry, Chakua na for September. So this is it. Uh, let me confirm the price. 35. This one has not changed. It has been selling at 35 for the longest period. I wish in the Kuaunga. Anyway, then I also bought some sugar. Sugar, I did 3 kgs. This one will be enough for us for the 3 months. Yes, I was also running out of uh, pilau masala. Mm -hmm. Let me confirm the price of this. It was 125 shillings. Yes. Uh, then, this Soconi steel wire that was retailing for 30 bob is now 51 shillings, but it's the best for, for uh, washing sufurias. Yes. Then, we have this other one. Hey, Cooking oil. I only did one liter because I have some five liters that are not over. I had bought them some time back when Kafu had some offers. So guys, whenever you hear an offer somewhere, can you go running? Because I think for the past two months, I've not bought cooking oil. I only added this one because I don't love going for shopping in the middle of the month. So I love doing it in the beginning of the month so that I'm settled for the whole month. That's why I added in this one in case yeah then i have uh these serviettes i bought them for how much 101 shillings uh they are called nice soft this brand is also very nice yes i'm not advertising it but that's it so and finally is my tissue paper this one has also the price of the tissue paper has also gone up it's at 462 uh what do you call it toilet has many brands but i normally feel this is the best for use uh because it's very soft even for the baby uh while using it on a baby so that's why i prefer this one 462 shillings so it is going each tissue is going for 46.2 shillings anyway i don't complain so that's it for my shopping you realize i didn't uh do many toiletries like happy i have some left uh what do we call it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. jig i also didn't buy jig it's not here i also didn't buy washing powder because i had done them in bulk the last time i did shopping and this was the trip i i got them on offer so tip number one Anytime when you are doing your shopping and you realize that anything is on offer, please pick it them then because you do not know the next time you are buying it, it a in a toka pesangapi. So I'm very, very happy. I have saved up some money for the toilet. Please, I have not bought any except soap. Ile sabuni ya kufu anguwa the menegai cream bath and this dead also for my baby uh, and maybe he angu ya kuoga. So anytime you meet an offer please just take advantage of this offer we also have some cash uh, cashback apps that are in some supermarkets not all please take advantage of them like wherever i shop i don't go to i have a supermarket outside wherever i live it's called power star let me just uh whatever it uh mention it uh they normally have this app called doyangu app 
so just uh and sometimes uh some of the products are are sanitizer are endorsed in that app and are they are usually in offer some of the time so take advantage of those supermarkets that normally have some the cash cash uh the cashback apps so that's the tip number two you also realize in my shopping i do not have any cereals avoid avoid at all cost buying cereals in supermarkets because i realized in most cases they are usually like a hundred shillings higher i'm a 50 shillings higher atakama in the cereal shops you'll have to sort them out up i'd rather sort them other than buying them at a higher price that is my tip number three uh the other tip so if uh, you don't have a problem of changing a uh, a brand to so you normally you are used to eating the pembe flour and you can eat soko flour if you you can uh, change the brand if you the the cheapest brand is not what you eat and but you can eat it for that month and uh, that you can consume it for that month you can also choose changing the brand that is optional myself i don't love changing the brand by the way yes i think those are four main tips Yes, the other one, tip number five, that will save up your money. Just take, um, if you don't have enough money and if you want to save some, just take whatever you need. Just take whatever is essential. Do not overshop. Like for me, this is a by the way, si lazima ni cook pilau. You can cook no more rice. Whatever you feel is a by the way, just go away, uh, do away with it. Fabric softener, if I felt like, uh, but then I forgot to mention this one. This one was going at 256 for BS. So if you find the fabric softener is not uh, a very essential for you, do not pick it. We are, with this budget, uh, we are only picking whatever is essential for us. And avoid impulse buying. To say me you did not require something, why should you shop for it? Why? And especially we women. You just go picking anything if you don't need something please do not go purchasing it so i think those are five good tips that will help us through this uh tough economic times so i hope you have enjoyed that video i'm grateful to god that i was able to buy something because i know there are very very many people who are not able to do a monthly shopping and also to place food on the table so wherever you are if you can help someone if you know someone is sleeping hungry Please be your brother's keeper. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Bye-bye. Till we meet again. I love you.